Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is you will take this piece of paper and you'll hole punch it like you did last time. So I'm going to hole punch it. I'm gonna, this is the card stock, so I'm going to pass this around. You guys can go ahead and hole punch this while it's coming around, okay? Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is you will cut out... And you don't need to do this now, so just watch, all right? So you'll cut out each one of these that Sun, Mercury, this one's the Sun, Mercury, Venus. You're going to cut it all the way along the outside edge, including this little skinny part right here. You're going to just cut that whole square out, okay? And I'll show you what you're going to do with that. So you'll do this for each segment. <clears throat> so then you'll do the next one, which is Earth, Mars, and Jupiter. You're going to cut the whole thing out, including the two skinny segments on each side, all right? Those are going to be places where we're going to glue together, okay? Now you guys have uh, your packets for the sun, or you should still have your packet for the sun if you don't borrow one. And you got the one for the terrestrial planets yesterday. So that means that uh, once you have this all glued together, you will be able to do information for each of the planets up through Mars. So all you're going to do is you're going to use the blocks that are beneath the pictures of the planets, okay, down here. And you are going to put information about that planet or the sun is also there. So you're going to put information about the sun. So you could put like the period of rotation. Uh, I know that some of the things we don't have in our packets, but you can look those up <clears throat> on your iPads because the internet is working today. So you could look things up like, uh, did you know that the sun actually has a period of revolution? Did you know that it's revolving around something? It's not revolving around itself. Good guess, though. No, nope, that's rotation. It is rotating. That's on its own axis, though. Anybody have any ideas what it might be revolving around? No, a black hole, maybe. It's actually revolving around the Milky Way. Oh, I didn't hear you. You didn't say it loud enough. <laughs> well, no, he's right. Uh, you're also going to cut out the one that says the planets, cut all the way around it. <clears throat> this one we're going to cut a little differently, though, because we're going to cut it in half. And I'll show you what we're going to do here with this. But yeah, the sun uh, revolves around a center point of the Milky Way, and you could find its period of revolution by looking it up online. How long does it take it to go one time around the Milky Way? Hmm, interesting, huh? So we're going to take the one that says the planets and we are going to cut it in half. The next thing that we're going to do, <clears throat> we are going to fold these little pieces at the ends of that because that's where we're going to glue. So we're just going to fold it so that they stick up a little bit. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is where it says Mars and Jupiter. On the back of Mars and Jupiter, you are going to put glue all over the back of Mars and Jupiter, okay? I can find where my glue stick went. Here it is. Glue, 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 glue. Yay. And then you're going to stick Mars and Jupiter in the center of the page. So it looks like that, okay? So uh, Earth stands up, but Mars and Jupiter are gonna stick. Now we're gonna fold on the line that says Earth now. We're gonna fold it in to face Mars, like so, okay? It's like a little book. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you. All right.
Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to take and we are going to put just a little bit of glue along the back side where Venus is and we're going to glue it to this little edge right here that we kept popped up for us. <clears throat> so it will look like this. Okay, so now, see? Now we have the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, okay? Now, so Earth was folded in toward Mars. We're going to make a little accordion now. We're going to fold Venus outward. Mercury is going to go inward. The Sun's going to go outward. That's why I'm making a little video that I can post on Schoology. <laughs> So it's going to look like a little accordion. So la, 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 right there. All right. So now on the outside of this, though, we're going to put the. All right. So we are going to glue the and we want the to be facing upward. So so you're going to that little tab where the sun is, you're going to fold that down so that it's going to look like this. All right. And so we're going to stick it this little edge right here with the glue. Okay. Don't use too much glue. We don't want things sticking together that shouldn't be. Just a minute. We're not there yet. All right. So on this side, it's going to say the, and when you open it up, it's going to have the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Now Jupiter is going to be the other half. Okay. So there's one half. On the other side, we are going to glue Saturn to the other side. So this little bit of this little bit right here that we left on the side of Jupiter, we're going to put just a little bit of glue there. You're getting it? Oh, the light clicked on. Yay. And it's going to glue right here. Like so. All right. Boom. Then it's going to fold in toward Jupiter. And be careful if you put too much glue, it might be a little sticky there, all right? Then you're going to accordion it out. Your Uranus is going to come the opposite way. Neptune's going to come in. And then, so, Uranus, Uranus, tomato, tomato, whatever. All right, then we have this little bitty piece that we left on the outside after Neptune, and that's where we're going to put planets okay so it's gonna say the planets I'm gonna just open this up to get it out of the way while I'm gluing might have used a little too much glue that's not great we don't want everything sticking together so there we go we've got the planets now if you feel like it it would be lovely if you would paint the or paint these color the planets because they are a little boring looking since it uh, prints not in color. Right. So it looks like this when you're all finished. And you open it like so. Oh, and I, see, I put a little too much glue on that side. So then you add the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. You could color it. Look, I, it's going to be funny whether I say it urine -is, or if I say your anus. So either way, eighth graders find it funny. Uh, again, get your laughs out. This is science class. All right. So you're going to go through your packets. You have enough information that you should be able to put information on the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. If you get really, really uh, ambitious, you can just use your iPads to look up information on the other planets. And if you really, really get ambitious, um, and there could be a bonus point or two in it for you. Uh, you could color the planets. All right. You can make it look really pretty. Oh, I don't know. One or two. No, it is not due tomorrow because uh, you don't have your other packet yet on the outer planets. But uh, if you get it done, you can turn it in. I mean, you certainly can find you can find all the information you ever wanted about every planet on on the Internet. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's up front. Yes, ma'am. 
I would fill up the box. Let's say, let me, let me just say this. No, 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 no. I know that trick. There's a particular student in my ninth period class that likes to do that. And I always tell him that doesn't fool me. Uh, make sure that you write things like the diameter, circumference, rotation, revolution. Um, if it has any moons, name some of the larger moons. Um, Atmosphere, whether or not it has an atmosphere, it's average temperatures. And then other interesting facts. So, some planets might be upside down, or we think they might be upside down. Some are tipped on their sides. Some have rings. So give me what you can find, okay? Get me as much as you can. Any other questions? All right. Lovely. Lovely.